Rev up your engines. Today I'm going to talk about something that you should put on certain modern engines if you want them to last a long time and run correctly, and that's an oil catch can. I'll give you a little history lesson to show you why some modern cars should have them put on if you don't want carbon buildup on the intake valves. Now all internal combustion engines build up pressure inside the crankcase because as the pistons go up and down, they are pushing a lot of air up and down, there's a little blow by of burning oil and gas pressure, so pressure builds up inside the crankcase of all engines. And if that pressure isn't released, it would build up inside the crankcase, it would blow the seals, do damage to the engine, of course then all the oil would leak out. So it has to be vented somehow. Now when I was a young mechanic in the 1960s, the older cars just had a vent. It was just a hose that came up, went behind the bottom of the engine, and when you're driving down the road, that vapor was just vented, and you'd see on older cars smoke coming out of it. It just went straight to the atmosphere. Then later on, they put a little hose on the top, and then they'd run that to the beginning of the air filter, and there was a tiny little air filter inside there that would filter the big chunks out. Then the engine would suck that in burning inside. But that in itself created problems and polluted more so. We have the modern PCV system. There's a PCV valve that vents it, goes into the intake, and then the stuff is burnt inside the engine. Now, on a car with normal fuel injectors like this Toyota, where the injectors are on the intake manifold, and they spray gas directly into the intake valves. Now, with the simple PCV system and the fuel injectors on the intake, it didn't cause any problems, because any of that crud, if it got on the valves, the fuel injectors are spraying gas. Then it goes right over the valves into the engine, and gasoline is a very good solvent, so it kept the valves clean, and you didn't have to worry about them carboning up. But then came the GDI gasoline engines, gasoline direct injection. Many companies made them. Volkswagen did a whole bunch of theirs, and what they found out was the Volkswagens with the GDI systems were getting huge buildup of crud carbon on the intake valves. Since on these GDI engines the injectors weren't here on the intake, they are actually built right into the block of the engine, then there was no clean gasoline spraying on the intake valves to keep them clean. The only thing that was going over those valves was air being sucked in, and the mess from the PCV that was venting the crank system oil particles, some carbon particles, it would make a mess. So all that crud from the PCV system would bake onto the valves, and I've seen Volkswagens, they had to pull the heads off, and they had to actually walnut blast all the build up crud, because it was so thick and so hard. You can't sandblast it, because that would ruin the valves. Walnuts are softer, so they use walnut shells, and they would blast it off, which is a very expensive job to do. Now, some cleaners can get thinner bits off, but even there, a lot of the manufacturers warn people don't use those cleaners, because if it breaks a chunk off, and it's turbocharged, it could ruin the turbocharger, it could clog up the catalytic converter, it could do all kinds of damage. So you want to prevent that kind of build up in the first place. And that's where an oil catch can comes in. It does what it says. It catches the oil and impurities before they get into the engine. Now this being a Toyota, even though it's got 240,000 miles on it, it doesn't need one of these, but here's what you'd do if you wanted to put one on. You'd simply remove the PCV hose and put this in place. You'd put the in here, and you'd put the out here on the engine, which would suck it in. The good ones like these say in, and out, and this one's so cool, it's got a little dipstick, it's got an oil dipstick in it, so you can measure it when it's getting full, then you drain this out. Yes, this device is for people who maintain their cars correctly, because you do have to empty it out every once in a while. Now these catch cans, you really would want to put them on a GDI engine, at least the older style ones, and you can also use them on old junky engines that use a lot of oil and have a lot of blow by, because this would hold the oil, it would keep it from getting in the engine, and messing with the valves, and also clogging up the catalytic converter. Now, on a really modern GDI engine, you don't need an oil catch can. You take a 2018 Toyota Corolla, those have a dual system. They have GDI injectors that are built right onto the block, but they also have regular fuel injectors 
that are in front of the valves. So, some of the times it sprays them in front of the valves to clean the valves so they don't carbon up, but when it's running most of the time, it uses the GDI injectors to get more power and better gas mileage. Many other manufacturers have that new system, the dual system, because they learned from their mistake. You'd think that somebody would have thought in the first place, hey, gee, if we use GDI, the PCV valve will put gunk and clog up all the intake valves, but I guess they didn't test it out good enough or they weren't thinking ahead of time. Because the newer ones, you don't need to put catch can on because they don't have that problem. But there are millions of cars out there with GDI engines that don't have it. They have just the GDI injectors and you really need to put an oil catch can on them if you don't want the valves to get carboned up. And as you can see from this video, it's a real easy thing to do. It's got mounting brackets, you can put it whatever you want, and the hoses are pretty long, so you can put them on a firewall, wherever you want. Just make sure you get a quality one that does have baffles and filtration inside, because if it doesn't have baffles, eh, it'll still suck the oil in. You want something that's going to keep the oil from coming up and staying on the bottom, and then every once in a while, like this one, you check it, and when it's getting full, you have to empty the thing out. So now you know all about oil catch cans, how you should use them on the old style GDI engines, or if you got a really old junker car, pull one on there, they don't cost that much, and they can prevent a lot of damage down the line. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.